Modern engineering is creating some of the most powerful vessels ever seen, equipped with lethal weapons, stealth features, and advanced technologies. But just how far have they gone? What are the most advanced warships today? And why are they so essential in 21st century combat? In this video, we'll find out as we explore the top 10 most advanced warships in 2026. Let us kick things off with a piece of Italian engineering that is frankly bizarre to look at, but absolutely terrifying to fight against. I am talking about the PPA class, or the Petuliatore Polivalente di Altura. Now, if you look at the bow of this ship, you might think the designers made a mistake. It has this strange double-piercing wave bow that looks like a beak. But trust me, in 2026, this is peak hydrodynamics. It allows the ship to cut through the Mediterranean waves faster than you can order a pizza in Naples, reaching speeds over 32 knots. That is almost 60 kilometers per hour for a ship that displaces around 6,000 tons. But here is the real kicker and the reason why this ship starts our list. It is the definition of modularity. The Italians designed this thing like a Lego set. It comes in three versions, light, light plus, and full. We are focusing on the full version today because, well, we like big guns. The cockpit bridge is something straight out of a sci-fi movie or an F-35 fighter jet. It requires fewer people to sail it because everything is digital. Imagine flying a ship with a joystick and a heads-up display. That is the PPA. It is packed with the Kronos dual-band radar, which can track threats from the sky and the sea simultaneously without breaking a sweat. It is arguably the most flexible ship in the world right now. Need to hunt submarines? It can do that. Need to provide disaster relief? It has the space. Need to launch Aster missiles at a supersonic threat? It does that too. It is the Swiss army knife of the seas, wrapped in a stylish Italian package. It might be at the start of our list, but do not underestimate it. If you were an enemy captain, the last thing you would want to see is that weird nose pointing at you on the horizon. Moving from the Mediterranean to the Indian Ocean, we find a beast that proves India is no longer just buying warships. They are building world-class titans. Enter the Project 17A class frigate. Now you might be thinking, it is just a frigate. How tough can it be? Well, in 2026, the line between a frigate and a destroyer is getting very blurry, and the Project 17A is the reason why. This ship is the ghostly evolution of the Shivalik class, but it has hit the gym and learned some ninja skills. The main selling point here is stealth. The hull is designed to scatter radar waves, and the infrared signature is suppressed so well that on an enemy radar screen, this 6,600-ton mountain of steel looks like a small fishing boat. But a fishing boat does not pack the punch this thing does. We have to talk about the BrahMos missile. This is the pride of the Indian Navy. It is a supersonic cruise missile that flies so fast that by the time you realize you are being shot at, you are already swimming. The Project 17A carries eight of these nightmares in vertical launch cells. Plus, it is carrying the Barak 8 surface-to-air missile system for defense. It is a perfect balance of hiding in the shadows and striking with a hammer. The ship uses a composite material superstructure to keep the weight down and the stealth up. It is fascinating to see how the Indian Navy has integrated Western sensors with Russian weapons and indigenous Indian tech into one cohesive package. It is truly a hybrid warrior. Before we move on to the next ship, do me a favor. If you love seeing underdog navies rising to become superpowers, hit that like button right now. It helps the algorithm find other naval enthusiasts like you. Seriously, just tap it. It is free. Let us sail back to Europe, specifically to Spain, to look at the F-110 class frigate. Now, Navania, the shipbuilder, has done something here that sounds like it belongs in Silicon Valley rather than the Atlantic Ocean. The F-110 is likely the smartest ship on this list. Why? Because of the digital twin concept. In 2026, every single one of these ships has a virtual replica running in a cloud server on land. Sensors on the real ship send data to the virtual twin in real time. If a pump is about to fail or the engine is running two degrees too hot, the virtual twin predicts the breakdown before it actually happens. It is like the ship has a psychic brain 
that prevents it from breaking down. That is huge for reliability in a war zone. But it is not just a floating computer nerd, it is a bodyguard. The F-110 is built to integrate specifically with the American Aegis combat system. It uses the SPY-7 radar, which is insanely powerful solid-state radar tech. This allows the Spanish Navy to plug and play directly with U.S. Navy battlegroups. It creates a shield against ballistic missiles that protects not just the ship, but the whole fleet. The hull is optimized for silence, making it an excellent hunter for enemy submarines, using a suite of sonars that can hear a whale burp from kilometers away. It is armed with a 127mm main gun and harpoon missiles. But the real weapon here is the data processing. In modern warfare, the winner isn't always who has the biggest gun, but who processes information the fastest. The F-110 is the supercomputer of the high seas. If you are into tech that feels like it is from the year 2050, this is your ship. Now we are looking at the heavy hitter of the Commonwealth, the Type 26 Global Combat Ship class. This isn't just a British ship anymore. The designs were so good that Australia and Canada looked at it and said, we want some of that too. This ship is designed with one primary obsession, silence. It is the ultimate submarine hunter. In 2026, the oceans are crawling with quiet attack submarines, and the Type 26 is the answer. The Royal Navy built this to replace the Type 23, which was already quiet, but the Type 26 is like a ghost. The engines and machinery are mounted on rafts that absorb vibration so it does not travel into the water. It drags a sonar tail that can listen for enemy subs over massive distances, but do not think it is defenseless above the water. It is a big girl, displacing around 8,000 tons fully loaded. That gives it room for a 24-cell missile silo that can fire Tomahawk cruise missiles. Think about that. A ship designed to hunt subs can also strike a land target 1,500 kilometers away with pinpoint accuracy. It also has a massive flight deck that can handle a Chinook helicopter, which is huge for a frigate. This flexibility is why it is called the Global Combat Ship. It is designed to operate anywhere, from the freezing North Atlantic to the tropical Pacific. It is the backbone of Western naval power in 2026. The fact that three major navies are building their fleets around this one design tells you everything you need to know about its quality. It is reliable, it is deadly, and it is very, very quiet. If you are enjoying this deep dive, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We upload daily videos on military tech, so do not miss out on tomorrow's upload. We are crossing the Pacific now to talk about the dragon in the room, the Type 055 class destroyer from China. Although, let us be honest with each other, calling this a destroyer is a bit of a joke. It is massive. In the West, we would call this a cruiser. It displaces nearly 13,000 tons. To put that in perspective, that is heavier than some World War II battleships. The Type 055 is designed to be the bodyguard for China's aircraft carriers, and it is bristling with weapons. It has 112 vertical launch cells. That is more than the American Arleigh Burke class. These cells are not just for show. They can fire a mix of anti-ship, anti-air, and land attack missiles. There are even rumors and reports in 2026 that these ships are equipping hypersonic anti-ship ballistic missiles. Imagine a missile coming at you at five times the speed of sound. There is almost no defense against that. The radar system is a dual-band setup that mimics the top-tier U.S. tech, allowing it to track stealth aircraft and low-flying missiles simultaneously. The design is sleek and enclosed to reduce its radar cross-section. Even the anchor is hidden inside the hull to keep it smooth. It shows just how far Chinese shipbuilding has come. They are not copying anymore. They are innovating. The Type 055 is a command center capable of coordinating attacks for smaller ships and drones. It is a floating fortress that commands respect and fear wherever it sails. When this ship leaves port, the entire Pacific Ocean pays attention. Staying in China, we have to talk about a ship that is changing the rules of the game, the Type 076 class. This is officially an amphibious assault ship, but in 2026, those labels are starting to mean nothing. Traditionally, these ships are meant to carry helicopters and hovercraft to drop marines on a beach. 
The Type 076 does that, but it has a secret weapon, an electromagnetic catapult. Yes, you heard that right. A catapult on an amphibious ship. This allows it to launch heavy combat drones and fixed-wing aircraft that regular helicopter carriers cannot handle. It is basically a medium-sized aircraft carrier disguised as a landing ship. The focus here is on unmanned combat aerial vehicles. The future of war is robotic, and the Type 076 is the Hive ship. It displaces roughly 48,000 tons, which is gigantic. It creates a massive problem for enemies because it projects air power without risking the lives of human pilots. Imagine a swarm of stealth drones launching from this ship to take out coastal defenses before the Marines even land. It is a terrifying concept. This ship bridges the gap between a carrier and a landing dock, creating a new category of naval threat. It is rumored to use integrated electric propulsion, giving it plenty of power for those catapults and future laser weapons. While everyone is watching the big aircraft carriers, the Type 076 might actually be the most disruptive ship in a potential conflict over Taiwan or in the South China Sea. It is versatile, it is packed with drones, and it proves that the era of traditional warfare is dead. Now let us return to the heavyweight champion of the U.S. Navy, a classic that refuses to retire, the Arleigh Burke Class Flight 3. You might say, wait, the Arleigh Burke has been around since the 90s. And you would be right. But the Flight 3 is a completely different animal. The hull might look familiar, but the insides have been ripped out and replaced with the future. The heart of this ship is the AN Spy 6 Air and Missile Defense Radar. This radar is roughly 30 times more sensitive than the radar on the previous Flight 2A ships. 30 times! It can spot a periscope or a stealth missile from ranges that were previously impossible. To power this massive radar, the U.S. Navy had to redesign the ship's power grid to generate enough electricity to light up a small town. This destroyer is designed for one main thing, ballistic missile defense. In a world where rogue nations have long-range missiles, the Flight 3 is the shield. It carries 96 vertical launch cells loaded with the most advanced interceptors money can buy. It is the ultimate workhorse. While other ships on this list are new and experimental, the Arleigh Burke is battle-tested. It is the soldier that has seen it all and just got a bionic eye upgrade. It proves that you do not always need a new hull design to stay dominant. You just need better eyes and a bigger brain. In 2026, these ships are rolling off the production line to replace the aging cruisers, ensuring that the U.S. Navy maintains its wall of steel across the oceans. It is dependable, powerful, and aggressively American. We are entering the top three, and we are back to China for their crown jewel, the Type 003 class, also known as the Fujian. This is the moment China officially became a blue water superpower. Unlike their previous carriers, which used a ski jump ramp to launch planes, the Type 003 uses electromagnetic catapults, similar to the US Navy. Why does this matter? A ski jump limits how much fuel and weapons a plane can carry because they have to lift off under their own power. With catapults, you can fling fully loaded jets into the air. You can also launch heavy radar planes, which are the eyes of the fleet. This ship displaces over 80,000 tons. It is a floating city. In 2026, seeing the Type 003 operational means China can project power anywhere on the globe, not just near its own coast. It carries the J-15 and the new stealth J-35 fighters. The sheer scale of industrial capacity needed to build this ship in such a short time is mind-blowing. It signals that the monopoly on supercarriers held by the United States for decades is officially over. The Type 003 is not just a warship, it is a political statement. It says, we have arrived. It still uses conventional power, not nuclear which limits its range slightly compared to American carriers. But its combat capability is dangerously close. This is the ship that keeps admirals up at night. If you want to keep up with this insane naval arms race, you really need to subscribe. We cover these developments daily, so join the community. At number two, we have the European answer to the super carrier question, the PAN class or Portavion de Nouvelle Generation. That is French for New Generation Aircraft Carrier. 
France is the only nation besides the U.S. to operate a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, and the Pang is the successor to the Charles de Gaulle. In 2026, this project is the pinnacle of European naval ambition. It is designed to displace 75,000 tons, making it significantly larger than its predecessor. Because it is nuclear, it has unlimited range. It can sail for 20 years without refueling. Think about the logistics advantage of that. It is designed to carry the next generation fighter, a stealth jet being developed by France, Germany, and Spain. The Pang is effectively a piece of floating sovereign territory that can park off your coast and enforce diplomacy with high explosives. It also features electromagnetic catapults from the US, ensuring interoperability. What makes it so advanced is the high level of automation and the integration of drone swarms directly into its air wing. While the US and China focus on raw volume, the French focus on high-tech integration and nuclear endurance. It ensures that Europe retains the ability to project power independently of the superpowers. It is sleek, it is nuclear, and it is very powerful. It represents the future of Western naval alliances, acting as a command hub for NATO operations in the Mediterranean and beyond. And finally, at number one, the undisputed king of the seven seas, the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier. Even in 2026, nothing else comes close. This is 100,000 tons of American diplomacy. It is the largest warship ever constructed. The Ford class had some teething issues in the early 2020s, but by 2026, those bugs are squashed and it is operating at full capacity. The key metric here is sortie generation rate. That means how many planes it can launch and recover in a day. Thanks to its electromagnetic catapults and advanced arresting gear, the Ford can launch 25% more sorties than the old Nimitz class. That is like having an extra carrier worth of air power for free. It is powered by two A1B nuclear reactors that generate three times the electricity of the old class, future-proofing it for lasers and directed energy weapons that haven't even been invented yet. It carries over 75 aircraft, including F-35 stealth fighters and F-18 Super Hornets. The island superstructure is pushed back to create more deck space for rearming and refueling planes like a NASCAR pit stop. The price tag? About $13 billion. That is the GDP of a small country. But for that price, you get a ship that can single-handedly defeat most air forces on the planet. It is the ultimate symbol of naval dominance. It is faster, deadlier, and more advanced than anything else on the water. The Ford class is not just a ship, it is a monster. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 most advanced warships in 2026. Which of these machines really impressed you? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like these.